Hi, my name is Andy Pitt from Artificial Solutions. What we're doing today is talking about Indigo. And Indigo is a personal assistant. We're showing it here on Windows 8, um, but we've also got it running on Android down here. She runs on various different browsers. And that's really the key to the difference with Indigo. She's personal, so she remembers your preferences, your likes and dislikes, and she will follow you across different devices. And she will persist a conversation so, for example, you can ask about a restaurant on the Windows phone and you can ask for directions there on Android. Neat little interface, so uh, it's got all of the usual features, um, so you can scroll up and down. Um, you can also scroll left and right, so it's either some of the reminders that uh, I've set, some alarms, notes. Favorites is a neat thing, so these are maybe questions that I ask on a regular basis, so I've uh, tagged them. So I might, for example, want to know what Apple's share price is, and instead of asking, I can just go through to it, and uh, it will pull back the information on Apple's share price. The natural language capability underlying Indigo is really quite powerful. You're able to speak to her in a very natural way, a very conversational style, and she will understand it. You don't have to be very prescriptive, so you don't have to do call Peter. You can be much more uh, natural in how you interact. So you can do something like, um, what's the weather forecast in Barcelona today? So it's picked up the what I've said, it's given the response, and it's given me the answer. And another point is quite interesting, you've got a preference capability in Indigo, so you can set things like uh, whether you want to speak in Far uh, the answer in Fahrenheit or centigrade, which browser you want to use, um, what your likes and dislikes are, can be set in the preference there, that Indigo will then use to tailor the responses that she gives. So quite a cool solution to be honest. Thanks very much.